I'm Rachel Goldsworthy and welcome to the drive home to Hawkesbury, where I believe every home has a story and I love sharing those stories on real estate in the Hawkesbury with you. Here we share the best ways to add value to your property, how to avoid the common mistakes people make when buying and selling property, and how to get the maximum return on your investment with a focus on supporting local business. I live love Hawkesbury and can't wait to get into today's episode with you, so let's get started. Good morning, good afternoon or good evening depending on what time you're watching this episode. I'm Rachel Goldsworthy and super excited to be here with state champion, not only state champion, dual state champion, Ayla Navick. How are you, Ayla? Good. That's good. And tell me all about gymnastics. When did that start? Were you very young? I was three years old. Three years old, okay. Hello to everybody that's on here. It's great to see so many people. Christine Butler says, wow, what a ride up, Ayla. I look forward to seeing you in the interview and also an honourable mention for the very dedicated support person, Mum. Hey, how about that? Nice one, Sandra. I hope you're on the line, Sandra. Good to see you too. And who else have we got? Everybody, there's a stack of people on here just in support of you for next next week's national. So um, you started when you were four years old, Ayla. That's a pretty big thing. Tell me, what is gymnastics and, and how do you get into it? Um, well, I just, since I was little, I just started tumbling, moving around the house, doing handstands, forward rolls, front flips, back flips. All that kind of stuff. Yeah, it's kind of like just eating a banana sandwich or something, really easy stuff. And I can't even do one. You know those backflips? What do you call those things when you put your hands over your head and you try and stand up and make yourself into a bit of an arch? What's that called? Most people call them back handsprings, but in our power tumbling sport, we call them flips. Flips, so okay. So what we jump, we... If we did like a round off kind of thing, then we go back onto our feet, jump back onto our hands, awesome. and we do that continuously. Okay. So uh, tell me, gymnastics, where do you train? I train at Kachan Kuchan- Kuchan- School of Tumbling and Performance in South Windsor. Okay. And what's that like? You enjoy that? I love it there. Yeah. And there's lots of kids and adults that get involved with it too? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And how many people would you train with on any one day? Um, probably around about eight to ten people. Eight to ten people. And what is a training session like? I mean, I know I like to go for a walk by the river and that kind of stuff, but that's a bit sedate in comparison to the training that um, somebody is specialised that you do. So tell me all about that. What what does your is it an hour? Is it two hours? It's uh, four hours on a Tuesday and a Wednesday, and I do four and a half hours on a Saturday. Oh, wow. And talking about that, I think Dimmer is saying hello and Beck is saying hello. How are you? They're your coaches, aren't they? Uh, Yeah, he owns the gym. Fantastic. And Rebecca as well. And mum's online. Hi, mum. Hi, Sandra. How are you doing? (laughs) Your mum is a big support crew for you as well, isn't she? She's travelling down to Melbourne, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. No, terrific. And I've also got another comment down here. Roberta, thank you very much for coming on. And she said, a great story. It takes dedication to reach that standard. Good luck, Ayla. It's really nice to have the support from everybody, isn't it? Because there's so many people that, that, you know, cheering you on and it must be a big thing. I mean, not only are you the dual state champion, but you're also um, school captain at Ebenezer School, I believe. Yeah. How do you manage, like I know what it's like when you're running a business, it's very, you know, you've got so many things on, lots of staff, lots of people to work with. What is it like? It must be the same sort of pressure being a state champion, dual state champion, and also a school captain. Well, I have to run a lot of assemblies every two weeks. Okay. And with four other captains. So um, doing this, sometimes they have to run assemblies on their own without people. Right. Wow, big responsibilities and you get to go to school with a lot of kids too at Ebenezer? Yeah. Big shout out to Mr O'Brien, he's the principal there, isn't he? Yeah. Anybody else you'd like to say hello to, your little brother, maybe Jay? Hi, Jay. (laughs) And little Robert, he's my nephew. Hello, Robert, if you're online, how are you? (laughs) So now we've got a bit of show and tell for everybody because um, I feel very, very privileged sitting next to the Jill State Champion and she's brought along her very, very special medals and she's going to share with us those. Could you walk us through each one of the medals that you've received and what they mean? 
So this medal here I got at Bendigo last year for wow. national clubs. Um, wow. Then I had this one here was at state levels last year for trampoline. I came second. You want to hold that one right up to that green light there and then look at that. Isn't that amazing? So is that a silver medal or is that a gold medal? It's a silver. That's awesome. Any medal in my any place just turning up to the competition is just a great achievement, isn't it? Then I had, I got two firsts this year. One for DMT, double mini tramp, and the other for tumbling. Awesome. Hi, and Karen. First. Karen's online to say hello to you too, Ayla. Everybody's cheering you on as they are for everybody. And Noel says, you go, girl. How about Uncle Noel? <laughs> hey, Uncle Noel, how are you? And you've got um, your grandfather on the, the line as well too. It's great to have everybody there. So it's so nice to have the support. So, yeah. So um, which is your favourite medal out of all of those ones that you've shown us? My tumbling, my first choice. Tumbling. Probably some. This one. Now that's a gold medal? Yeah. You've got two gold medals too, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. And um, what does it take to get a gold medal? Like what do you need to do that the judges are looking for when you're doing the tumbling or the gymnastics? Straight legs um, to hit the right spot on the floor, make sure you don't take off from the mat or the floor, kind of all that stuff. Okay. So it's just sort of straight legs. On the floor, straight ahead. Do you have to run really fast as you're coming up to what you're doing? It depends. Okay. So. Okay. And what does it depend on? Um, how big a pass or routine that you're doing. Okay. So if I was doing an eight school pass, you may need to run a little bit faster. If I was doing a five school pass, you might want to run still fast but a little bit slower. Okay, for the, the um, simple real estate agents here online like me, what's a pass and what's um, a five and an eight? What's the difference between the two? Is that an extra move that you put into the, the tumble? So um, what we do is for two passes, which basically routines, we have to do a five skill routine. So it includes a, it includes a start and an ending, so a round off and then so you're doing whips and flips and then an end, maybe some twists or doubles. Great. And an eight skill pass, you would add a little bit more onto that. Wow. No, that's awesome. And um, tell me, when you, you're doing the routines, do they have music that they play for you or you just all got to be focused on that actual move and just get straight into it and do the, the pass? They will normally have music in the gym all yeah. the time. Wow. Christine says that you're doing a great job explaining everything. Ayla, isn't that good? <laughs> um, and is it Juan McIntyre? Yeah, put a hood on, it's cold. Yes, I, exactly. We're thinking the same thing. But I'm wearing the Australian colours because we're all going to the Nationals next next week down to Melbourne. How's that going to be? Is this for the whole week in Melbourne? Uh, yes. Okay, Australian Championships. And how many of you are travelling down there from your school? Um, well, there's a couple from our school that are just going and then I think on Thursday all the internationals are going. So they actually compete for Worlds. Wow. And because there's two other competitions that you may be invited to as well. One's in Portugal and one's in Russia, isn't it? Yeah. So, so tell me mainly, about that. They're mainly for the internationals. Yes. And if they qualify at nationals, I think they go to Portugal. Okay. Yeah. No, that's terrific. Hi, Julie. Julie says hi to you. You're doing an awesome interview. Well done to you, Ayla. I completely agree. And she's such an expert on the topic of the tumbling. And I've, I've seen her in action. And honestly, the energy required, I mean, I look like a giant in comparison to little Ayla. I'm not too sure how many kilos. You don't have to answer that question. But she's a tiny, tiny thing. How tall are you? Um, like a metre and 50 centimetres. Wow. Okay, so I'm just, just under six foot and that would sort of come up to about here on me. But the way Ayla goes down these paths, I mean, there's a mat and it's how how many metres would you say it would be? 25, 50 metres, something like that? Uh, 25, 28 metres. Okay. And so she runs down this sort of amazing pace, does her turns and tumbles and, and so forth and then lands on both your feet and just big smile and thank you to the crowd. Is that the way it happens? Uh, yeah. So, um 
So if we were competing, we present as well. So um, we do that at the start and at the end. Oh, awesome. And Zach's chimed in. Hi, Zach. How are you? Awesome work, Ayla. Still more to come. And that's so true because she's so talented and she's had a couple of fantastic years out there in the, the training and doing everything that she's doing. And I know you've got a really good support crew of trainers from Rebecca and Dim and all the people down at, um, what's the name of your school again? Tim, another School plug. of Tumbling and Performance. One more time. The Chan School of Tumbling and Performance. There we go. So they're all great people. They work out at the Windsor Baptist um, Church down in South Windsor there. It's a great location. If anybody wants to get involved, I'm sure uh, Rebecca and Dim would be pleased to help them. We'll put up a link on that for people so that they can have a look at it. Now, with the Nationals or the Australian Championships coming in next week, what are some of the things that you're thinking about going into that competition, Ayla? Um. Well, since it's such a big competition, I'm a little bit nervous. Are you? Yeah. What are you nervous about? Well, I really want to try um, hard to get all my routines really, really good and try and win. Yeah. And we're super proud of them. And you're going to do the best you possibly can do on the day. And it doesn't matter where, whether you place, whether you win, whatever it happens, you're all a winner in our eyes. That's the way I look at it. So um, I think it's fantastic. Now, I don't know whether anybody's offers you corporate sponsorship, but I think that you've been doing an awesome job in the tumbling and everything else. And uh, I've spoken to your manager and she's okayed this. Um, she's also your chaperone and your mother. But um, we're going to give you some corporate sponsorship for the event. So that's for you to take away. And uh, no, you're most welcome. And we're happy to support the local sporting organisations and also the local kids because I think it's really important. Ayla's done so well and she's a real quiet achiever and she probably wouldn't. A lot of people may not know all of the things that she does, but the dedication and training that she has done and achieved over the last few years and, you know, starting from the age of four. And how old are you now? 11? 11. Wow. And you're going in the under 13s, is that right? Yeah. Yeah. So it's going to be a really big, big thing for her to be down in the competition as for everybody else going in the competition with the school. And I think it's going to be a lot of fun, probably a lot of pressure too. As you said, you might be a little bit nervous, but I think you're going to do a great job as I'm sure everybody else thinks. So um, all the best for down in Melbourne and I hope you come back and tell us lots of great stories and all your adventures and, and how you fared down there and, um, you know, what, what you did and what sort of training you did. And Just uh, before we finish, tell me, what's your favourite um, move on the actual mat? What, what's your favourite sort of? Um, well, since yesterday I did a skill on my own, which was a double tuck. That's probably my favourite right now. Double tuck. And what, um, with a double tuck, is it really important to pull the legs close to your chest? Or what's what's the best way to do that? Yeah, to pull your legs close to your chest okay. and make sure um, so you have like a little bit of gap in your knees and make sure that your chin doesn't like hit your knees. Okay, yeah. And when you land, what's important when you're landing? Um, just try as much as you can. Try and like stick it so... Stick it. Yeah. So right, you're gonna stick it. Yeah. Okay. That's a technical term. And what does stick it mean for the people like the real estate agents that don't know what that means? Help um, us out here. <laughs> so say if we were doing our end skill and we don't have to take a step, we just like land and stand there. Okay. Yeah. And do you have to put your arms up in the air as though and wave to people or do you know any of that sort of thing or no. No, okay. Zach's giving you a big thumbs up. He thinks that you, you probably, do you know Zach? Yeah, he's my coach. Uh, good on you, coach. Zach, how are you? Stow. Stowy. Stowy. What's that mean? Stowy. So stick it. Stick it. Ah, very good. Yes. See, there we go. We've got all of the, the, um, the trampolining gymnastics speak down pat with the help of Ayla and Zach. Thank you for that. Well, we wish you all the very best for your training down in, um, you know, your pre preliminary training prior to going down to the Australian Championships, Ayla, and to everybody else that's going down there. We really appreciate you coming on the show. We're looking forward to catching up with Dimi 
and uh, Rebecca and possibly Zach too upon your return just to see and hear all of the latest news and anybody else that wants to share the sports stories of the local community in the Hawkesbury. That's why I've created this podcast just so that we can share the great stories that we all get involved with and there's so many of them and um, so many unsung heroes and it's nice to hear about all. Just show us all your medals again, Ayla. You've just done so well and we're all super proud of you. So that's an awesome job and we're looking forward to hearing about it when you get back. So thanks for being on the line, Ayla. I'm sure everyone appreciates it. You can give them a big wave and we'll say hello and, and goodbye until the next time. You can say goodbye. Bye. Okay, see you later, people. Thanks very much for tuning in. If you've got any questions at all, don't hesitate to contact me. I can be contacted at rachelgoldsworthy.com.au. I also will put some links up from the school and also anything else that people want to know, questions, comments, love to hear from you, and it would be fantastic. Hi, Melinda. Thank you very much for your thumbs up. We really appreciate that and everybody else being on the line and the support for the local club. Okay, take care and we'll see you on the next one. Bye for now. Thank you so much for taking time out listening to today's episode. If you have any questions on the process of buying, selling, leasing or strata management, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. Be sure to subscribe on iTunes and I'd really appreciate it if you could spread the word by liking and sharing this episode with your family and friends. I'm Rachel Goldsworthy and I look forward to catching up with you on the next episode of the Drive Home to Hawkesbury.